convenience store called Sweet Treats on Martin Street, but I'm also a show entertainment. We are a faith-based uh, entertainment, uh, so we bring family, family comedy, and family fun to all masses of people. So that's why I am, and thank God for you listening to what I had to say. So we're going to continue on because I am done for at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So next we have coming up. I had a chance to meet this young lady. We've uh, been knowing each other for like 17 minutes. I feel like I've been knowing her for 18 minutes. <laughs> so she brought her, her husband slash dad with her. <laughs> so our next presenter for today, without further ado, let's give it up for Laura Burke. Laura Burke. All right. Let's go. services. What we do is we keep more money in your pocket and stuff. And I'm going to tell you, you know, a little bit of my story, but you know, for the last parents to come home. As um, I started my business, as a matter of fact, we have three businesses now. Mm -hmm. And that's my husband, Kenny. Uh, I have large tax services. We have, we have two transportation businesses, too. So we got one up and coming because our goal is to help people. That's, that's our goal, to help people, to employ them, because people need help, they need money, they need to live. Mm -hmm. So that's that's our issue, but I, I am really from South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. So a lot of people say, how in the heck you end up here? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm grateful that I came because a girlfriend of mine was telling me about the opportunities here. And see, I, don't, I found out that out of towners, when they come, they look at things differently than, you, than people that live here are born and raised because it's they too close to see it. Mm -hmm. So I was able to see opportunities that a lot of people was not able to see because I'm not from here. So I'm grateful for that. So but when I came here, I started driving. Well, I met him the second day, and five months later, he was married. <laughs> and that been over 35 years ago. Been <laughs> there a long time. And I'm grateful. So but I, when, I, when I came here, I started driving the school bus because I used to do that in high school. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to drive these kids around and drop them off. So after I did that, I started out, um, I was a banquet server, you know, at Radisson. So I enjoyed doing that, but I knew I needed to do more because I would go to college. I stop, life shows up, I, I quit. You know what I'm saying? I start, life shows up, I quit. And I did that for years. So finally, I told myself, honey, you got to do something. <laughs> you got to do something. So finally, I made him, I, I, I left um, Radisson as a server. So I said, okay, I need to go to school. But how am I going to go to school and make some money too? Because I still need to live. <laughs> so I decided, okay, I'm going to go back to the school bus because I have that break in between. And that break in between, in between gave me the opportunity to go to school while I still made money. So that was my goal. I even told my uh, supervisor, I'm just coming here until I finish school. And I did. I did that. Even sometimes, like, I, I would study and be staying up late at night, and I was tired. So I called in a slick day. And I would tell him that. I said, I need a slick day. I mean, I had to be honest with him because when I first came, went there, I was honest with you. I'm like, I'm coming here just for a reason. So he really helped me get through it by me being honest and, and stuff like that. So as soon as I graduated, I left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I quit and I started my own tax business. But how that started was my husband and I was in Myrtle Beach and we was at the family reunion. So my husband was just talking to one of my cousins I didn't know, you know. So he told me to come over that keys doing taxes for a living and I need you to talk to him. Mind you, I was still, I was getting ready to graduate. So I went to talk to him and he was telling me, okay, you can work four months out of a year and make this money. And that was, whoo, okay, I'm gonna do that. So, I mean, it's like when I came back home, I hit the ground with money. So you know, in business, as an entrepreneur, you have to have some money. You have to have some. So I didn't have no money, but I did have this credit card 
<laughs> this credit card had four thousand dollars on it, and four thousand dollars then is probably like twenty thousand now. So I needed that four thousand dollar credit card. So what I did was I took that credit card, I bought me a computer, I bought me a desk, and I bought tax software, which was the number one software in the world. So I do not advise anybody to do this. When you start your business, you need to get some help. You can't do it by yourself. So I'm trying to put this desk together, you know, which we can't have. Then I'm trying to put this computer together. I had no clue what I was doing. It took me at least two months to put this, this computer together. So don't always get help. That's, that's my expert opinion. Always get help. Don't try to do it by yourself. Because I spent a lot of time trying to put this together when I could have been thinking of ideals of marketing my business, which I didn't know any better, but, but it worked out. So I never forget when I got everything together, you know, uh, I didn't know how to market. I didn't know how to do anything. So I was told some people that, you know, what I was doing and they know. So the word started spreading, you know, it was, it, it, it was a, just a miracle to me. <laughs> they started spreading, people started coming. So I started working in the lower level of my home. I have a low room I worked in. So my business started spreading by word of mouth because I didn't know about advertising. So by word of mouth, so I started growing and then I had to get in the bigger room, which was a bedroom downstairs, so I had to get in the bigger room. So then I had the right idea, okay, I do need to advertise. So that's when I started getting some help. I made up flyers and I, it was, it's cold here, so I wasn't gonna go when I'm giving out the flyers. So I hired somebody <laughs> to give the flyers out, cheap labor, you know. It was cheap labor, so I, they passed out the flyers and stuff like that. And then my business really was going by word of mouth is the number one uh, way, way of advertising. Now social media, media is just a big deal. So, okay, everything started doing good and growing, and then I had to take my my business up to the upper level. I mean, it started growing <laughs> real quickly. It was so eventually uh, we had to move out of our home you know, and, and get another home. So now, I just made it out of my office, you know, because what happened was, I'm telling you how God, he, he talked all about how God works, and he know what he's doing, and that's my favorite thing, I tell God. I say, God, you know exactly what you're doing. I have to tell myself that so I can depend on him. <laughs> Instead of depending on myself. So, um, I know one time I was looking, before we moved out home, I was looking for a place, right? So I'm looking around, looking around. So I was going to this place by the Walmart on 71st Street, I've seen this plaza, I wanted to meet the movie in. So the guy had supposed to meet us, but it was raining, so he was interested in going on vacation. He wanted to go on vacation, so. We never got the chance to go into the place, but he had a nerve to ask me, why would I want to rent to a small business like yours? Oh, that pissed me off. I mean, really, it pissed me off. So I had to think about this. So for some reason, I had thought in my head, I'm like, I got the place here. Mm -hmm. I got a place. So use this place and, and get your, just move out. So I did that, but I wish I could have seen that guy again so I could tell him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was like, look, look at me now. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but everything worked out, so I moved out. And, and really, I do have a successful business. You know, usually I would say that, but I'm not bragging with this. It's the truth. It's the truth. And I thank God for that. I thank my husband. And let me tell you another thing, too. I, I didn't let fear overtake me. Because I, I didn't have time to think about fear. I just, I'm the type of girl who would do it. Even if you tell me not to do it, oh yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> I mean, really, you have to They don't know they have to and Eventually, I uh, hired a computer guy, and um, that was the best thing I ever did, <laughs> was to hire him and take care of my computer. So I was getting ready to hire somebody because I was doing everything by myself and I couldn't do it anymore. So I was gonna hire somebody, and I think at the time that's it's been over twenty years since I've been in business. And he and I told him I was gonna pay him twelve dollars an hour, and that was a, when I think about it now, that was a lot. So he told me you can't do that. Oh my goodness, you telling me I can't do it? Mm -hmm. I did it anyway. You know, what I said then I started hiring other people because, but it was a struggle for me because I was used to doing things on my own. 
So it was like I was uh, micromanaging. It was, it was just terrible for me. It's like I'm trying to do this and I'm listening to what they say and what they do. It was, it was just terrible. So I just kept on, kept on. So my daughter, uh, my daughter name was Patience because I didn't have any. <laughs> I didn't have any. I'm so serious. I called Mama and Jesus the whole time when I was getting a birth. So that's all I had was one. That was it. It was, it was like taking my Bible and pull it over my head. I, I, I really don't. I don't understand how people have kids. You know, and I had natural birth, so they didn't give me anything. So she was living in Germany. Her husband is a military guy. So um, I've been over there before and everything. So I was just telling her how my business was going, and she was saying, "Well, Mom, I did a thousand tax returns this year." <gasps> What? You did what? I didn't know she was doing that. I flew her behind home the following year. Because if you, she by herself did a thousand of those military guys, oh my goodness. So I flew her in the next year, you know, for three months, you know, so she could stay with me. She turned the whole business around. See, because I was by myself and, and people would say, well, Miss Laura, I can't pay this. And I'm like, okay, baby, don't worry about paying later. She said, no, 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 no. We're not. This is a business for real, for real. Yeah. <laughs> she said, we have to run a business as a business. Don't be like I did. Like, oh, baby, you'll be all right. And she was telling me, she said, why would they pay you later when you already did the work? They're not going to need you anymore. I'm like, oh, yeah, really? So she just helped me. <laughs> she, 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 she poor mama. She just helped me my business about because she knew her mama needed help and I didn't know. So, uh, but one thing about her is she was so business wise. So when she came, when she finally, when they finally came back to the states, I told myself, I said I better get her before somebody else do. Mm -hmm. So okay, we have a meeting. Me and her have a meeting. So she told me how much she wanted to make for the year. I almost died. I'm like, oh my God, no, she's not my mother. She tells me to <laughs> me this. But I paid her anyway. That was the best investment I ever did in my mm -hmm. life. Because now, you know, she got the social media thing going on. I don't know too much about She just turned everything around. I mean, because she's young, and they keep up with that stuff. You know, I'm still young too, but. You know, <laughs> keep up with that stuff. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that. And uh, what I had to do was get help. So years later, I was a sober prop, right? Because I didn't know any better. You know what I'm saying? And I was still using my Social Security now as a sober prop. And so eventually, because of you have, I'm telling you guys, please don't be a sober prop because you have to use your uh, Social Security now. So if anything, be an LLC, which is the limited liability corporation. But you be a tax as a sole proprietor still. People don't realize that. They think, okay, well, I'm a corporate. Yes, yes, you are. You license in the state, in your home state, which is Indiana. But you be a tax as a sole proprietor, which is uh, you have to pay the high behind separate part of tax. So what I tell my clients is eventually when you start making money, because I'm a monitor, you how much you make, right, James? Yep. <laughs> how much it's you true. make. So eventually you'll change to an S corporation. They are tax completely different than the LLC or the sole proprietor because you have to do a Schedule C for that. So what I do is I help monitor tax planning and stuff like that. My goal is to keep more money in your pocket because the IRS trying to get it. Amen. You know that's their goal. You know yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's their goal. Like right now, they are behind for 2020 tax. And they still send out letters to people. So, I mean, it's just a mess right now, but it's going to be okay. And my main goal, too, is I didn't realize that, like, when people come in my office and see, for some reason, when they sit in their seat, I know everything about them. I don't know. I know that, you know, God, how everything just comes to memory. And they say, how you do that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't. Because our, our goal is to... Uh, just like I said, keep money in your pocket and stuff like that. And another thing is, as you become an LLC, uh, sorry, sorry, okay, I'm all right, I was good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. As you become an LLC, make sure you get an EIN number, and that's easy to do. You get that online within seconds. An EIN number, but you have to be an LLC first, and you get that within 24 hours or less. But try to get somebody to help you so you can get educated. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got LLC and they dormant. They're not doing anything with it because they don't know any better. 
you know, and be careful. He said he quit his job. God told him, which is great. But I tell people, you know, God will tell you some stuff, but if you truly believe, go ahead and do it. But sometimes I tell them, look, you know, if you ain't ready, <laughs> but you'll never know when you're ready. You know, because I didn't know. I just did it on faith. I believe in me, and I believe in God. You know, I believe in something bigger than me to help me, and I'm grateful for that. My favorite saying is, God, you know what you're doing. I mean, I say that over and over. I need, I need some help. You know what I'm saying? But after you get that EIN you number, know, make sure you separate your bank accounts. That's how IRS gets you. <laughs> okay, you got to have a personal bank account and a business bank account. Don't mingle both of them together. Because when you mingle, that's how they do Because they're going to look at you. If you used to get audited or examination, that's what they call it. You know, it's, examination is hard. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing, you know what I'm saying? And if something don't look right on one year, they could go, on, go back to about two years, two or three years, mm -hmm. you know, because they want some money. That's the bottom line. And then, uh, let me tell you something else. If you was to ever get audited and, and examine, the examination, what they're going to do is they're going to be, oh, nice to you. They're going to talk about your family, what you <laughs> like. Oh, oh, they're good now. I'm telling you, I just did one last week, and I told the young lady, I said, they're going to be nice to you. They're going to talk about your kids. They're going to find out what you like. They're going to talk about your husband. He was a truck driver, and he got engaged and all comfortable. And I kept telling them, well, keep it moving, keep it moving. And then they start, start talking about another year. And, but you got to tell them, no, we're not talking about that year. We're talking about, you know, I was skeptical. Mm -hmm. <sighs> then they got a new mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I told them exactly what they was going to do. They didn't believe me. I said, I'm an expert. I mean, this is what I know. I'm going to say that many times. It is what it is. I'm still working with them and stuff like that. So that's all I can do. So you make sure you have two accounts now. If you need money out of this personal account to help you with your business account, just transfer it. Okay, transfer it. Don't withdraw it out and put it in your business account. Don't do that. It's because that's how the IRS get you. How they gonna know the difference between you getting it out of your personal account and putting it into your business account? If you transfer it, that's paper trail. Mm -hmm. They can see it. You, you understand what I'm saying? They can see it. So try to do the same bank or something like that because you need. They need to see. And then you can explain it better. And a lot of times. Two is whatever tax accounts or whoever you have, make sure they explain stuff to you. Because you're signing off on this, saying you understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to be, have to answer those questions. Mm -hmm. And we, we, when I was in the article, the young lady, we went over this stuff. <laughs> and she did the opposite, you know what I'm saying? But you make sure you understand what you sign. Right. If, even if you don't understand, ask questions. It may like you understand now. <laughs> but but it's, it's, it's important to understand what you're doing and stuff. Okay, so that's one strategy there about the bank accounts and stuff like that. But you have to take your LLC, the EIN on a letter to the bank. They will not open it without that and stuff. Now, the LLC, if you in the state of Indiana, the bank, they'll look it up for you. You don't have to take it. That's open, but that's important to have two separate accounts. Okay, and another thing too is like eventually I was telling him when he when we start making money, we want to be an S corporation or a C corp, and I usually advise people to be an S corporation. But all it is is the LLC. My thing is you have an LLC and an S corporation. The LLC is to protect your assets if somebody tries to sue you. You know, if there's somebody tries to sue you personally, they can. They can sue the business, but not you. Okay, but S Corp is for filing status only. People get confused. That's why I say it's important to educate yourself. You know, it's, it's, it's okay to sit down with your tax accountant or whoever and tell them to explain stuff to you. If they can't explain it to you, you need to keep it moving to somebody yeah. else. Mm -hmm. For real. Because they, it's more to it than just typing and putting numbers in. It. And then they say, okay, this is why you owe. Or this is why you get your refund. You know, anybody could do that. My little six-year-old grandson could do that, you know. But um, this is amazing right here, doing taxes and stuff. Like, he was talking about your passion. That, that is my passion. It really is. My passion really is helping people 
um, getting money. Like, it's a lot of strategies. It's a lot. It's a lot of deductions. Now, another thing, too, is if you start your business, it's best to have a home-based business. Remember, I was telling you in the beginning, my, my house is my home-based business, because you can write off a lot of stuff. Like, you can write off your rent or your mortgage, a percentage of it. A good example is like, let's just say, for example, if you're a part of a house a thousand square feet, and the room you're using is 300 square feet, but that room got to be exclusive uh, just for whatever your business supply. It can't be working in the living room, because if you're working in the living room, you're working in your living room and you're using your living room. It got to be exclusively for your business, okay? So uh, 1,000 and 300, that's 30%. So 30% of everything, like your mortgage or rent, your utilities, uh, your garbage, whatever you use, uh, whatever in your home is 30% you can use, okay, as a write-off. And it's a lot of write-offs. People don't know anything about it. But the key to doing taxes is strategies or loopholes, whatever they want to call it, deductions, credits, and stuff like that. But you need to know the difference and stuff like that. Because everybody said, well, okay, Ms. Laura, how much you charge? Well, it, everybody's situation is different. Never, ever, your situation is not the same because we charge by forms. And I don't know what form I'm going to use because a lot of people say, well, okay, I just have a W-2. Yeah, you got a W-2 and a 1099. A 1099 is what, what companies give you and you consider self-employed when you get a 1099. People don't do that. A lot of companies give you a 1099 because they don't have to pay payroll taxes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All the taxes is falling on you. Mm -hmm. Because like if you work in a W2 job, right? They take out taxes on you every week. But your employer have to pay taxes too. But if you get a 1099, you got to pay both. Mm -hmm. You the employer and the employee. You guys understand that? So that's why, that's why they be like, oh my God, I owe all this in taxes. Well, you don't have any deductions. You know, I was the employee. Yes, you was the employee, but you really wasn't. You was an independent contractor. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I mean, a lot of companies does that, but they don't supposed to because if they have to train you, they don't supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? You, if you're an independent contractor, you just come in and do your job and keep it moving. But that's not how it is. But also, uh, we, we just do a lot. Well, I started off doing taxes, right? And it's important to build your business, right? So once I understood that and got it down packed and started doing it, I started doing bookkeeping. You know what I'm saying? Because all that hand in hand. Now, that's how IRS get you. That bookkeeping, that record keeping. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people, <laughs> they have a lot of receipts. And they think that they can give the receipts to the IRS. No. And not only that, the ink disappeared. You know, they have cheap paper now. You know, they make cheap paper. So the ink leaves, you know, and stuff. So I had a client to go downtown. I tried to tell them to the IRS with a whole bunch of receipts. They were like, whatever. They didn't even, they didn't even talk to them. All you gotta do is listen to me. I'm an expert in what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know why you thought, you know, how we think we could just get away with stuff, you know, but no, they wouldn't even, they didn't even talk to him. So uh -huh. I had to help them with the receipts and stuff. And uh, just like I say, your co-meaning, your uh, record keeping and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's a lot of work being an entrepreneur. It is, but it's worth it. It is. All right? It is, it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? You know, some days you're like, oh my God, please help me. You know what I'm saying? But it's worth it. I'd rather be an entrepreneur than uh, building somebody else's vision. Mm -hmm. And that's what we'll be doing as a W2 person, building somebody else's vision. If that's what you like to do, fine. But I don't. <laughs> and stuff like that. But we're going to keep on uh, doing what we need to do. And another thing, too, is, um, you know, I was talking about perseverance and stuff. I mean, I had to persevere a lot of stuff, a lot. You know, just like in the past, what, two weeks, James? I've yeah. <laughs> been going through a lot. But it's, it's all good, you know, because I have to say, God, you know what you're doing. As a matter of fact, I called James. I said, James, I got the flu. <laughs> and I was thinking it was late <laughs> last week. And I said, no, I got time. I'm going to be fine. Yeah. Okay. So, because 50% is being here. 
You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that's, the, that's 50% of the battle, being here. So I know I need to be here. Especially, I told him I was coming. You know what I'm saying? And as an entrepreneur, it's important to say what you mean and mean what you say. And do it. Do it how I was talking about fear. You know, I didn't know where I was coming. I didn't know, but I'm doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. Even when we started my business, I just did it anyway. Kept my head down. You have to be careful with what you listen to, mm -hmm. what you have between your ears. Yes, yes. That's the key. I'm telling you, I learned that early. Like, right? as a matter of fact, when I started my business, I was uh, with this company called Prepaid Legal. I don't know whether you guys hear me. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I was good at it. Really good. I was, yeah, I, I was the host on the calls. And honey, let me tell you, I was real good. Like if you sit in front of me and uh, at the end, at the closing, I put my head down. Cause they said the first person that say something, they they mock. So I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna let them talk. Oh, I got you now, and that's how I did. But it was hard for me to run behind two rats. That's how I looked at it. It was hard for me to do tax and uh, build my tax business and. Leave a shield, so I had to give leave a shield up because just like he was talking about the passion with the taxes, and that's when my business grew. When I, you know, and then uh, as I, after I build up the taxes, I started doing uh, bookkeeping, and, and now I do payroll because I had to do something that was in the same field for me, it was important, you know what I'm saying. But I had to build uh, one baby at a time, yeah, as, as I yeah. Look at it. You build one baby at a time, and it worked for me. And now, also, during the midst, as a matter of fact, my husband started a transportation business, so I run that, too. But I'm good with books and numbers, so, you know, I had to start that for him. And now we start another business. I'm like, God always got my head turning, uh -huh. you know. And, and I'm grateful that we could come here and talk about God or our faith. Uh -huh. I wasn't sure. You know, oh, yeah. I said, whether well, people believe or not, that don't matter. Not nah, these parts. Uh, right. I'm talking about what works for Laura, and hopefully I can help somebody by sharing my story and stuff. But um, it's important for us to keep on moving, you know, just keep, keep make sure you rest in your ears. And when I was here at Prepaid Legal, they introduced me to personal development. Oh, my God. They used to call me the personal development queen. Because, <laughs> because it was important to me because I knew if... Uh, I changed my thinking, okay? If I changed my world, the, I ain't say the world, <laughs> my world, everything else will be okay. And that's what happened was I started changing. I started thinking different with my ideas and stuff. And then uh, they have a lot of books for, for me to read. And then eventually I got a hold of all of them. <laughs> and all of them was the best thing I could have did because I could be driving somewhere for 20 minutes and, and Listen out half a book at least and stuff, and then I have learned to listen to successful people. Mm -hmm. It's important, not my cousin and you know, my computer guy. Now he knew my computer, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but of course, me growing and changing my mindset, thinking like a business person and doing things as a business person, and that was the key for me. My daughter taught me that if you're gonna be in business, you need to do things as a business person. And they, they always talk about the five people you hang with. You have, you know what I'm saying? The five people you hang with. I had to take a look at that. You know, I'm like, oh, that's terrible. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell myself, Laura, everybody can't go with you. <laughs> they can't. Everybody can't go. These people I love so much, they can't go with me. Because mentally, they're not there. You know, I'll, I'll never forget, I went to a sisterpreneur's event, and I took this one of my friends with me. That's, I had to, we had, I had to take her out. <laughs> it was terrible. She was talking about her stuff that she was supposed to be talking about. So that was my uh, learning experience, that I couldn't take everybody with me. Uh -huh. What I want for her, she didn't want for herself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It just, it is what it is. You know, and I'm grateful. You know, I'm grateful for everything that happened to me. Like I was telling him, you know, I had the flu, and then we turned on his grandson passed, and he just came from a funeral the weekend, and he was there from Thursday to Monday, and we was there supporting the, uh, the mother, and uh, 
I mean, we just dropped everything and did what we need to do because that's important. How they say families first, it's true. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we ain't never all the family. Sometimes we can't. You know what I'm saying? But this was important. And it, it, it just showed our character, you know, for us to just drop everything and just be there and support people. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and also, I was I called him yesterday and I ended up going, you know, the enemy was trying to keep me from coming here and I wasn't going to have it. I wasn't going to have it, right? So, uh, Tuesday when I got back, I was having an issue with this eye. And I had... Yesterday I called James and I said, James, I can't see. And he like, okay. <laughs> I said, but I'm coming anyway. You know, I said, but by the time I get there, I'll be doctor on my eye. I mean, I could not see. I really, I had to stay in the bed and poor thing, he was begging me up. He said, well, you are going to put his eyes on his eyes. I mean, I put eyes on all day long. It's better. I mean, it was so see the light. I mean, right? I couldn't, oh, I had to stay in the bed, but perseverance is the key. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to do some things that you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. It's not that I didn't want to do it. My help was trying to tell me something else, but I told my help, you're alive. You know, I said, look, yeah. by tomorrow, I'm going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm here now today. Yeah, and, stuff. and I'm grateful. I'm grateful. But I don't want that. Just go on through it. Just keep your head down and keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Because the enemy can't hit, hit a moving target. Oh, so I keep it moving. Yeah. I keep it moving yeah, yeah. and stuff like that because my goal is to help people, to help people as much as I can and stuff. And then, you know, the other ones just have to fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Anybody have any questions or anything? Yes. So, so then, as far as starting a business, like, what do you like small in business? Mm -hmm. like, like, I mean, so I'm saying this is probably, I'm thinking. You only gonna make like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars this year. Mm -hmm. Can you you can teach how to write that off or like, Yeah, you know, that's what I know. <laughs> okay, so I can give you information. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I can I can tell I'm gonna tell you like this. The only way these many years later I'm still functioning to do anything is because of the woman in front of you right now. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. Quite literally. Yeah. She didn't even know that, but that's just the truth. That's just the truth because the reality of it is God is doing a thing and he's putting certain people around me that's right. that propel that thing. If not for her, if not for her, these last three years don't even happen. Mm -hmm. Believe me when I tell you. Whatever she says, this is what it costs, that's what it costs. I mean, that's the best... The best I can't... I'm trying to, I'm, my goal, one of my personal goals is to pay her more. I'm glad to hear that. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. You know, yeah. these kind of, these kind of relationships here yeah. are how we actually grow. That's right. Period. You know, my, my goal, I can't, I can go on all day about, 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 about just her and what she means to food by the word. Montgomery 2320 Business Development Services that ain't made a penny ever. You know what I'm saying? Two years of it ain't made a penny ever. But when it does, you know, when it does, the only way I'm able to invest anything is because of how she keeps me covered up. And here's the thing. You can always tell when something is right or wrong when the government gets in touch with you and you like, sure, I got no problem talking to you. She, she not. <laughs> 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 I mean, they, they send they send me a letter. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm, happy. I'm like, hey, you know, because she's taking care of me, yeah. literally. So that's I, I'm, I'm gonna let you because yeah, I because what I do is before I, I like I'm an IRS. That's what I do, mm -hmm. and I do that because if something was to happen, you got all your ducks lined up. Mm -hmm. There's no problem, you know. Just like he was saying, oh, I got to let it up. No problem. Mm -hmm. But before I sent, before you sign that paperwork. Because my name is my 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 name and my company name is on it, and your name is too. So we said everything is accurate, you know. So we have to have these supporting documents. So I have to make sure I have all this stuff. Because my job, my goal is to protect you. Mm -hmm. That's my goal, and to keep more money in your pocket. That's no more than true. me. And so, so I have a question in regards to marriage and business. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the 
ups and downs and the roller coasters mm -hmm. and back home yeah. and, and, and uh, it can put it can put a massive amount of strain on, yeah, on yeah, marriage. Yeah. Exactly. Any, any tips that you can give things you've learned along the way to allow for uh, marriage to be uh, yeah. not marriage. We had to learn to cut it off. When to cut it off. You know, like sometimes it's 24, 24 7 for me and him talk about business and everything. And I, I had to tell him, I'm like, look, I come home, I want to, I need some peace. I don't need to talk about business all the time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no fun all the time. You know what I'm saying? But we had to do it in the beginning. But now we had the point in my life, it's like, okay, just like I said, we went to the funeral. You was, we wouldn't have been able to do that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, oh man, I worry about the business. We have people in place to help us now. Remember, I was telling you, you have to have a team of people, but it takes time for that. I mean, don't think you can just start. I don't know, if my game, but for us, no, it took a team of people. Like now, I'm here. I got employees at the office. You know, I just call and say, guys, all right, we're all right, okay, good. You, you, see what, you see what I'm saying? But it's going to be hard work. I'm, I'm not going to lie and tell you, oh, it's going to be. No! There's going to be a strain on the marriage. But you're going to have to be strong enough to, to say, okay, baby. You see what I'm saying, honey, whatever you call her, it's going to be okay. Sometimes it's, it's me, sometimes it's him. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to have to help each other out. You have to love each other. We're going to have to help yes. each other out. Yes. Especially me, especially me. We're gonna have to help me and or wherever. Go to Stoway. Let me turn around. I did. I got the random I did. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean I just have some strain, but you'll get through it. Yeah, you remember person is? Yeah, well I mean it's I mean I've only had like one W two in my life. So it's always it's always been in the business world, but my wife and I have been married for twenty years. Mm -hmm. so, um, and I'm just constantly looking to seek advice from other business owners mm -hmm. in regards to marriage because yeah. you know, as seasons change, we're going to have to go real quick, move on some things. And yeah. my goal is to get her out of her part time job and work with me full time. And just, we've always kept, kept it separate and it's worked that way. Mm -hmm. you know, she's always been the support, but, but I'm bringing her into the business more than I ever have before. Yeah. Well, we did that too. You know, we yeah. are stuff was separate until it couldn't be separate no more. <laughs> Right, <laughs> and that's and, and that's just the truth. And now we we are together, and uh, it, it just takes time, and it just takes perseverance, and just communication. You know, what I'm saying, and yeah. it's communication is, is big. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be thinking one thing and she don't know what you're thinking, mm -hmm. or vice versa. You know, because we me and have to talk. For real, I'm like, look, I don't want to, I don't want to think about this right now. If you're still talking, no. Is that true? Is that true? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. So, so, and sometimes it's me. I'm talking about business, and he like, ah, I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, it's some days it's him, some days it's me. But we have to work it out. We do. We have to work it out for real. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. And that's just part of it. It's life. <laughs> but you guys been married 20 years. If you went got them 20, come on now. Yeah. It's already it. Well, it's because you want you want help. You ask us. Well and she's I mean to have her on the business team, mm -hmm. believe me, she's just amazing. Mm -hmm. just, we've always had we've always kept it separate. I've been mm -hmm. in business and she's always had a, that's a place, at least a part time mm -hmm. thing. So you know, you could bring that together mm -hmm. and stuff. Everything will work out, but eventually you're gonna have her full time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, if it works out, you'll get more done because she'll be up by it. Yeah. yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, see, you say she's amazing. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have any questions or concerns or anything to ask me about taxes? Yeah, my daughter has an LLC. You have like a Catholic stage, anything that you say about having an LLC? Well, um, what I do is I explain it to her more. Um, I do have a little pamphlet here. And if she got an LLC, I'm going to this event, uh, April 26th. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking people, uh, stop me by, as well, women, really women, 
got LLC to this event. And we're going to talk about business credit and we'll give you some information because it's important to be educated. That's the key to be educated. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, because if we don't know what we don't know, but we learn, when we learn, we'll do better. So I can get your name and telephone number. And hopefully, you, you have mine out there. You can send me birthday. Okay, that's all right. right. Robert's my little brother. This is my little sister. Oh, really? Oh, you have a nice evening. Yeah. So I'm Joyce. Oh, you're Joyce. Okay. What is this song? Your people, huh? Yep. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, uh, but it's important to the person here. It's, it's very, very important. Very much. And uh, have faith in yourself. You know, have faith in God, and have faith in yourself, you know, because he talks to us some kind of way. Mm -hmm. My husband, he's a praying man. He pray more than I do, okay? So he do the all praying, and I do the listening. He do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> he, do, he do the talking to God, and I do the listening. Because he puts ideas in my head, and like, we come, like, now we're doing hauling cars. We're hauling, I got a hauling cars business, and, he put it in my head, and I told my husband, don't be scared, because I'm a risk taker. Mm -hmm. I am. I take a risk. And I'm like, okay, God, you got to do it. You got to do it. And he's like, oh, no, safe. No, we safe over here. We, we going <laughs> <laughs> to get it done. So I'm just grateful that uh, things are working out for us, and mm -hmm. working to work out for you guys, too. You know, no doubt about it, just perseverance is very, very important. And let me tell you another story. I know when I'm, I got two locations. I got one at a 3902 Carolina, which is next to Keystone, between Keystone and Fall Creek. Mm -hmm. And then I got, I got another location on 3731 Lone Road. These are the houses I traded to. I did this right. So when I first got, when I got the one, my second location, I put up a bag, you know, on the side of the house, you know, advertising. So the people, uh, housing authority, not, is it a housing authority? Yeah, people in the neighborhood, they keep out seeing the banner because I'm right on the edge of next to the right? Mm -hmm. So uh, they told me that I was gonna have to take the banner down. I'm like, I think about no one here. I take the banner down. I think they said I take the banner down. And they wanted to charge me $125 a fee. Right, so, yeah, association. So that's what I was really thinking. So I remember sitting up in there, and it was like, girl, I, I mean, I was so fear just took all over me. That was my first experience of fear. It was like a paralyzing fear. I didn't know what to do. So I called my daughter. Mm -hmm. Right, so I called her and I was telling her what was going on. And then my husband, he had a military guy, he got on the phone. He said, ah, just, just go down there and meet with him, talk to him. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. So what I did was, um, I, I found out when they was going to have a meeting, right? So mm -hmm, they told me when they was going to have a meeting. So what I did was, I said, okay, I'm going to go around the neighborhood and get a petition. Mm -hmm. Found out I had these most of people taxes. And I, didn't, uh -huh. I didn't know it, so they was glad to sign the paperwork for me. So I took it with, them, I took it with me to the meeting, right? So I went in the meeting and... Uh, because I, I already talked to the president and everything, and he said, we vote you, you know, you'll be okay. So I said, okay. So I went in a meeting, did a little small pres presentation, and then he said, okay, you need to go out so we can vote. All right. So I went out and vote. I was going to the restroom. Before I got to the restroom, they called me in. I'm like, oh, my God. They called me in to tell me I have an approval. And then the president, you know, you had to go downtown and get a, uh, what is it? Uh, Thank you. A uh, permit to go to business, right? So I went downtown and got it, and they told me I had to go to court. I'm like, oh, and I had before they gave me the permit, you know. So I had to go to court. So I went and talked to the, not the association people again, and the president said he was going to go meet the court. So, you know, yeah. so the people that was against me not before. Uh -huh. Because I rebuilt the neighborhood because it was a, yes. a, a house that was boarded up, a homeless person was living in it. So I took a picture of the before and after of how I how I created yeah. the neighborhood. So they seen all that and they was happy about it. So they was able to support me. They went with me to court, but there was only three uh, people there. 
they, they usually have five people, right? They have three, and I want to take a chance on three people. So I rescheduled, and so I went back, but I was by myself that time. But I had all my paperwork. So all, as I did a presentation, all five of them was for me. Praise God. Yeah, yeah. I was it. It, was, it was amazing, you know, how God worked. And you got to do the work. Yes. I had to do the work. You understand what I'm saying? You have to do the work. Yep. It was so easy for me to give up. Give up and do what? What am I going to do when I give up? You understand what I'm saying? No, that's easy for me. Give up. And then when you give up, you're going to feel bad that you gave up. Yep. You know, we ain't got time for that. Yep. <laughs> you got a question? No. Oh. <laughs> Don't give up. That's no matter it. what, right? Yep. All right. Any more questions? No. Thank All you right. very much.